Hey, Paul Toby here. Thanks for taking the time to watch this quick video. We've had a few questions in the Groundhog user group about assigning leads to specific people, salespeople. And while you can do that round robin, and that's a fairly simple process, some of the questions were, well, what happens if that particular salesperson doesn't want to handle that lead or doesn't have time for it? How do we assign it to somebody else? So that's where it gets a little bit more complicated. And there are many ways to approach that scenario with Groundhog, but this is perhaps one way you might want to look at it. So uh, just in the interest of clarity, I'm going to turn off my video here and just go directly into Groundhog and we'll try to set this up. So we're going to make a campaign called 10 Dot Marketing Round Robin Sales. And it's pretty much based on just somebody filling out a web form on our website and then distributing the lead to a specific salesperson or doing it by round robin in, in this case. So it can either be done with a web form or a tag if it were uh, somebody else's form, like an element or form, basically whatever benchmark starts the funnel, the next step in this thing would be to assign it round robin. So what we're going to do is we're going to do an action called apply owner. And the first thing you need to know about apply owner is they have to actually be registered in WordPress as a salesperson or an administrator or something like that for them to appear in this list. So we're just going to go and pick three random people. Okay, as if they were different salespeople. And that will automatically do it round robin. So it'll do it, you know, one, two, three, and then start over again. So then the question is, well, what happens if that person doesn't want to actually take the lead? Well, we'll get to that step in just a moment, but the first thing you have to know is if you're going to send a message to those people about the incoming lead, you're going to have to send it to the owner email. So that's important. So that meta information goes into that box and it has to be from whatever at the domain.com and they're going to reply to that email. And then basically you have a new sales lead. Please follow up. And then put in the meta information from the email. Now what happens if that person doesn't want that lead? What could be an automated process that you could employ in order to get that to the next person? So there are a few ways to approach this. Uh, let's try doing it this way. So what we're going to do is we're going to save this campaign and we're going to go, go in and we're going to create a new form or a new funnel with a new form. And now that the lead is in the hands of a salesperson, we're going to go 20.sales confirmed lead follow up. You can, of course, call it whatever you like. But the important part is it's actually in during it's it's in the sales process now. So 20.sales is a good type of campaign uh, name for it. So we're going to put a form and it's going to be a pretty simple form and you can write more information on the page itself but all you really need in this form is uh, an email address and a couple of radio buttons so let's go ahead and throw in the email address so email of the lead So what they're going to do, the salespeople, is they'll actually have to paste in the email of the lead that they received from the admin notification. And then a radio button which says, are you following up with this lead?
and we're going to put, um, we have to give that a, a meta name. So and the options will be yes or no, please assign to another salesperson. Okay, so we're going to need some tags here. So we'll have to go create those tags, which we haven't done yet. But let's go ahead and insert that field. And let's jump out of here and go create some tags. So we're going to do status, yes, following up on lead. And status no assign to another salesperson. So no is ID 39 and status is ID 38. Sorry. Yes is ID 38, no is ID 39. Let's go back to our funnel. And as you can see, for some reason, it did not save our work. <laughs> not quite sure why it didn't save our work. So let's try this again. So we're going to throw in email. So there's where you select the radio option. And that's pretty much it for that form. Now all you have to do is take that form and embed it on a web page. Okay, and then above it, you might want to write something like and it wouldn't be here, it would be on the web page itself. So just take the short code, embed it on a web page, but on that web page, somewhere above the short code, write the following. It's like, please fill out this form to let us know the status of the lead follow-up, something like that. So it's kind of mandatory for you to train your salespeople how to do this, but we're also going to put a note in the admin notification that they receive. So let's go and do that. So we've applied the round robin to the owners and in the admin notification, what we're going to do is be really clear to confirm
and what you need to do is you need to put in where that lead is, where that form is. So forward slash um, sales lead confirm whatever the name of the page is and you can obviously name that page whatever you like as long as it makes sense. So the message basically says go to that page and fill out the form with the email of the lead which is this. So they actually can just highlight that, copy it, go to the form and paste it in because Groundhog tracks tag additions and everything based on emails. So if there's a form on a web page that has an email address and a radio selection, if they select yes, then that tag that says yes is added. And then of course you might want to put in the other information for that lead, which is, you know, phone number and all the meta information, et cetera, in this form as well. But basically what you're doing is you're training your salespeople to actually go to that web page and confirm or not whether they're following up with the lead. So then what happens? Well, down here, you can actually put a benchmark. So let's let a little bit of time go by to let them, I, I'm not sure what the follow-up procedure is for your salespeople, but let's say if an hour passes, um, maybe that's enough time to do it, I'm, I'm not sure. But let's, let's go ahead and put in a delay timer. And let's say one hour. And if they do follow up, then you can um, do something based on what they did. So if it's yes, they stay in this funnel. So let's do a, a tag benchmark. And basically the tag says yes, following up on the lead. And then you can add some other steps down there to send an email to, this, to that salesperson again, or you can do whatever you like. But what happens if the response is no? And so that's where it gets a little bit complicated. So that's, that's where we're gonna build another funnel. Let's go and do that. We're going to call this 20.sales assign new owner. And so what you want to do is you want to start off with that no tag, which is the benchmark, which then will trigger this funnel to run. So tag applied benchmark. And then what you're going to do is you're going to assign uh, to another owner either manually or what you can do at the same time is you can assign it to a specific owner automatically. So based on that you could add a step that says send an admin notification to the sales manager And down here, it basically says you need to assign a new owner to this lead. And you could make it a little more clear than that. And how do they do that? Um, so there's a, a link in the, in the admin notification to open the contact record. So open the contact record and choose a new owner from the drop-down field. So in the contact record, there's actually a field that denotes who the owner is, and all they have to do is go and select a different owner. So that's one way to handle it, send an admin notification to the sales manager or the owner of the company, I suppose, or whoever's in charge of the sales team. 
or what you could do is you could automatically assign a specific owner which will overwrite the current owner so how would you do that well just go in here apply owner and pick a specific owner now obviously if it's one of the people that uh, couldn't take the lead, then that's not going to work very well. So maybe what you have is always this sort of standby person that you can assign the lead to. So in this particular case, I'm just going to assign it to myself. And then any automation that is coming up next, which is emails to the contact owner, uh, sorry, emails to the client themselves or the person that's looking for the sales help or whatever automation you want to run. So that's two different ways of handling that particular scenario. One is automated and the other one is sort of a manual process where the administration or the sales manager needs to go in and assign a specific owner. So I hope that helps. There are probably a couple of other scenarios that you could use to do this, but the main point is it's done with tags and that simple web form that says the salesperson is following up with the with the lead based on their email address and that form obviously has to be placed on a specific web page so if you have any questions about this please write them down and we'll see if we can handle them but that's that's pretty much it i think that's that, that can be really helpful and we, we do this for a couple of different companies and it does work very well so thanks for your time uh have a great day